time to introduce the starting five for your Indiana Pacers. At one guard position, 6'4", number seven, Buddy Heal. At forward, 6'5", number 23, Aaron Neesmith. In the middle, 611, number 33, Miles Turner. At the other forward, 68, number 43, Pascal Siakam. Back on, 65. Zero, Tyrese Halliburton. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. Two slam dunk champs, Grant Hill and Brent Berry, our analysts tonight. Brian Anderson here. We'll hear from Ali LaForce as well. And we got a chance to check out multiple seasons of assist numbers and what has been the trend for Tyrese Halliburton. And the strides he's made as a passer are easy to see. He's developed a much stronger basketball IQ in regards to sharing the ball and keeping the offense clicking. And he's a much more effective player because of it. Let's take a look at our starters for Denver. And the forward spots, Porter Jr. and Gordon. Manning the backcourt, it's Murray and KCP. And it's Jokic in at the five down low. And for Indiana, we've got Neesmith. Halliburton is out there with Buddy Heal. Then it's Pascal Siakam. And it's Turner in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. All right, Graham, we're now in the middle of the season. Lots of miles traveled by everyone, including broadcasters. You got a favorite NBA city? Hey, B.A., you are spot on, especially when it comes to us broadcasters. But a favorite NBA city? You know, I've always liked Atlanta. Halliburton finds Siakam. Outside heel. Three-pointer. Gordon pulls it in. And Gordon has got the ball here for Denver. Outside Murray. Jokic with a screen on Halliburton. Murray passes to Jokic. Six on the shot clock. And that one's off. He misses his first shot of the game. Now healed. His last outing, he had 18 points. Pass to Neesmith. Now here's Halliburton. And the jumper is good at the free throw line. Halliburton comfortable from there. The defense has to watch where he gets to on the court because right there he's dangerous. Here's Jokic. 19-footer. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Now, what a great option he gives them on every possession. The line for the Nuggets. Grant, last season, Nikola Jokic came close to winning his third straight MVP. But in the end, he won something more precious, an NBA title. And that finals MVP award more meaningful, both personally and in terms of his legacy, being a winner is what matters in the end. Jokic no good on that one. We hear that label unicorn thrown out there a bit these days. But Nikola Jokic, he is truly one of one, Brent. Yeah, incredible to watch the way that Jokic is able to control the game and pick his spots VA to impact it, whether that's by rebounding the ball and playing physical, dishing the ball and making some assists happen, or shooting the ball from the three-point line. What a complete package he is. Halliburton against Murray. Siakam with a screen on Caldwell Pope. Siakam outside. There's Neesmith with the three. Rebound by the Nuggets. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. Porter shot is off. The Pacers have gone one for three so far. Siakam outside. Footer. 
Jokic grabs the board. Not exactly what they're looking for out of the gates. Just one of four shooting. To the left side wing. And here's Porter outside. That falls. Nice feed from Jokic. And you really want to step up and try to make Porter make a move. Right there, the three ball look easy. Pass to Turner. Back to Halliburton. Siakam outside. Now here's Halliburton. Defended by Murray. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. And a tenacious play by Halliburton. Crashing into a foul and first, still first seeking that foul. shot. And first finally getting foul. the full strength last season. The Nuggets wow. showing how great they can be, Grant. Well, the franchise's first ever championship, B.A. And you look at all their top players just entering their primes. Plenty of runway left ahead of them. And Halliburton, the guy you just continue to see grow game by game. An exceptional talent and a great mind. Now, here's Caldwell Pope, giving this team some energy, averaging a little over 10 points a game. Jokic finds Porter. Gordon outside. Outside, Caldwell Pope. And another three for Denver. Oh, what a look. Jokic already joined the list of NBA's greatest passing big men. No doubt about that. Healed against Caldwell Pope. Halliburton for three. Knocks it down from distance. Halliburton's got eight points. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Now here's Murray. What a tremendous game he played against Boston. Out to Gordon. Launches it. Pacers with a rebound. They're coming off that loss against Portland. Hey, they had their chances, but they struggled from the line. It's so hard to win that way on someone else's floor. And you cannot afford to do that. When you're in an opponent's building, you got to knock down free throws. That cost them. Here's Neesmith coming in off 12 points in his last outing. Here's Heald. And it's Indiana scoring again. He really hooked the defender with that pump fake. It worked to perfection. Murray against Halliburton. Inside. Here's Porter. The rebound by Turner. And Halliburton has got the ball here for the Pacers. Victory eluded them last time in Denver when they faced the Nuggets. Yeah, last time against this team, they couldn't stay out of foul trouble, and that really hampered them. And they had a few important guys sitting there on the bench at a time when they really could have used them on the floor. They have to play much more in control here tonight. Now here's Murray. Still no points. To halt the run. And the shot's good. Murray starting to feel the J here, sinking these shots time and time again. Murray against Halliburton. Pass to Turner. Back to Halliburton. Drives to the hoop. That one doesn't drop. The Nuggets trail. Outside Porter. Jokic against Halliburton. And here's Jokic. And he also played a big role in their last game with Boston. Here's Porter. It's rebounded by Indiana. Turner's got four rebounds in the game. Caldwell Pope against Heal. Turner with it. He's been an offensive weapon for them, scoring around 17 and a half points a game. <laughs> I just love the ball. For Denver, they've gone four of nine in this one so far. Murray passes to Jokic. Side for Porter. Puts up a three. The shot is good on the assist by Jokic. Jokic has got three assists now in this one. Halliburton against Murray. Outside heel. 
Here's Siakam. Big time contributor on offense. Just over 22 points a game. Shot from 12. From deep. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Now here's Murray. To the left wing. Here's Jokic. Back to Murray. Outside. Caldwell Pope. Jokic the screen. Beyond the arc. Caldwell Pope. Shot is off. Outside heel. Siakam outside. Up top Turner. His first shot coming late. And it's Denver with a rebound. Jokic has got four rebounds now. Healed against Murray. Back to Jokic. Shoots over Halliburton. And the basket by Jokic. Oh, just not enough. Jokic playing physical right back and finds the finish. Pass to Turner. Halliburton on the wing. Defended by Murray. Halliburton, the pass to Heal. Back to Halliburton. From downtown, gets the three to fall. Halliburton's got 11 points. Just how awesome is it to watch the best of the best start to dominate in a game? Down low. Stolen by Siakam. Pass to Neesmith. And here's Halliburton. To the middle. Gordon with a steal. Now Jokic. A great score. Averaging almost 26 a game. Murray passes to Jokic. Outside Porter. The three ball. Buries it from three. He's got nine. Set him up. Porter's going to knock him down. He's a terrific shooter who can do some damage from anywhere. Pass to Turner. Healed against Caldwell Pope. Siakam outside. Outside heel. Jacks up a three. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. And the Pacers lead by four. Man, he's got that touch working tonight, shooting the ball timeout, very timeout. well to start this one. Now a timeout called by Denver. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. Here it's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink. Especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. So Indiana going with an almost entire new group here. Toppin, he's checked in for Turner. Benedict Matherin comes in for Neesmith. Nimhart, he's checked in for Heald. And it's McConnell in for Halliburton. And a new group getting ready for the Nuggets. Najee, he's checked in for Nikola Jokic. Watson comes in for Gordon. Brown's checked in for Porter Jr. And it's Jackson in for Caldwell Pope. Here's Jackson. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. Murray passes to Najee. Oh, it's stolen by Siakam. Here's Nimhart. Pass to McConnell. Top of the screen on Murray. Siakam with it. Tipped. They recover it. Here's Nimhart. It's rebounded by Najee. Clean look from mid-range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. Here's Jackson. Got a piece of it. Murray against McConnell. To the inside. Siakam, no good. He's looking pretty unsettled at the moment. Doesn't seem like he has a great feel for his shot. Pass to Nimhart. Outside for McConnell. Hey, yo, right here. There's a minute 34 left in the first. 
Here's Siakam. And he gets it to go. Now two of six in the game. Inside Siakam gets the better of the defense using his agility. Clearing himself a path to a shot. Jackson left side. Naji. It's rebounded by Indiana. Probably should have scored there. He usually does. McConnell outside. Siakam looking it over. There's a screen by Toppin. From nine feet. Another one falls for Indiana. The coaching staff loving this. Confidence in Obi Toppin's catch and shoot game. The Nuggets have got 7 of 15 to find the net. Murray against McConnell. Pass to Jackson. To win the cold spell. And that's two points on the layup. Good work down low from the 6-2 Reggie Jackson. Not bashful. Indiana leading. Now Siakam. 29 seconds left in the opening quarter. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Second team five. At the line for the Pacers. Pascal Siakam. Two shots. Shoot two. The first free throw is good. He's shooting more free throws as his career has gone on. Siakam wants to get that percentage up. Tyrese Halliburton's checked in for Indiana. Siakam hits them both. 29 seconds left now in the first quarter. Jackson on the wing, defended by Halliburton. Thirteen feet out. Brown grabs the board. I admire the play call. They just couldn't capitalize. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. Down low. Here's Jokic. That basket is good. Off the assist from Jackson. Jokic has got six, and so it's Indiana with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. Eight three points is better than two. They built this lead by tacking on that extra point at the end of possessions. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. enjoyed the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one all right guys let me get your thoughts on the Pacers and how they're playing so far defensively their gambles are paying off jumping passing lanes and pressuring ball handlers just playing some real gritty defense right now just getting up in bodies and forcing a lot of turnovers here's Jackson on the court for the Nuggets. We've got Jackson, Christian Brown out there with Nikola Jokic. And it's Watson in at the four. Now here's Jackson. They trail by six. Pass to Strother. This one for three. And Toppin pulls it down. And here's Matherin. He'll bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. Brent, when you take a glance at Obi Toppin, a young forward trying to be more consistent. Well, a guy that can really get out in transition, and we know, obviously, finishing around the rim, B.A., it's other parts of the game. What can we rely on for Obi Toppin consistently to make contributions to winning? Halliburton against Jackson. Out to the right wing. Pass to Strother. Just five on the clock. And they double up Jokic. There's Jackson with the three. The shot is good on the assist by Jokic. 
Jackson's got five points. And Jackson ready to strike that time as the clock winding down. Nimhart, the pass to Halliburton. Inside. Stolen by Jokic. Now here's Jackson. Second quarter of action. About a minute and a half played. Pass to Brown. The three is up. And another three for Denver. Well, just such an instinctual passer. Really reminds me of our Vitas Sabonis who came over and dazzled us from the center position. Now here's Halliburton. He had a 21-point out in their last game against Portland. And the dunk by Jackson. <laughs> I just love that alley-oop slam, PA. Defense disorganized, defense pays. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Well, Tyrese Halliburton has made a believer out of his head coach. Rick Carlisle said, quote, he is a basketball savant type of guy. People like him, like Doncic, they sense when their timing is coming. He craves the responsibility of being the franchise point guard, and he always is aware of what needs to be done. Brian? That's high praise, Allie. Thanks. Good stuff. Now here's Halliburton. 11 points in the game. And he'll draw a foul. He'll head to the line for two. And we've heard players asking for more clarity and accountability from the officials. Grant, you think they have a point? Well, players often ask refs to explain calls. So they also want some clarity from the league whether the refs got it right. And that information oftentimes can help them make the proper adjustments moving forward. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And talk about a team that's known for being unselfish, the Indiana Pacers. Yeah, you know, B.A., it's part of their core philosophy. Keep the ball moving, keep everyone involved and engaged. And so Jackson nails both of them. Well, Grant, the Pacers made no secret about their focus on improving defensively. Yeah, B.A., I mean, that's how they'll take the next step. They rank near the bottom in a lot of defensive categories, and that has to change, and of course, they know it. Now here's Jokic. Brown, shot is good. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Indiana's gone six of nine from three-point range. Nimhart, the pass to Halliburton. Jackson with a screen on Jackson. And Jackson, here we go. And the dunk by Jackson. And Halliburton just sees the play before the play. The Nuggets have gone a terrific 4 of 5 here in the second quarter. Jackson surveying the D. Pass to Jokic. Jokic is doubled. Here's Brown. Fires the three. That falls. Nice feed from Jokic. Jokic has got his ninth assist of the game now. Wow, five consecutive threes. This defense looking very frustrated right now. Now here's Halliburton. He's got 11. It's Matherin with a drive. Oh, swiped away. Halliburton against Jackson. Here's Brown. And the lamp is good off the glass. Brown's got 11 points in the quarter. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Nuggets. I must say their defensive intensity has been impressive so far. Really making it hard for the offense to hold on to the ball. And they've sort of assumed control of this game with their pressure defensively. They've been into the ball handler. They've done a great job of swarming. So they're creating some turnovers. But they're capitalizing on them. Here's Watson. He had nine points in his last time out. Here's Jokic. Oh, he's a load inside. Jokic finishing strong. Yeah, boxing out Jokic is easier said than done, especially when he's sniffing out rebounds. Jackson finds Halliburton. Toppin with it to win the run. Drains the triple. Toppin's got five. He's got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. 
Jokic finishing through the D. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Indiana's gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Halliburton, the pass to DeMarc. Halliburton against Jackson. Toppin, a screen on Jackson. Pass to Toppin, to the wing, right side. Outside Matherin, six to shoot. And again, hits the Pacers from deep. That's pretty much not how they want to end the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. Halliburton against Jackson. Now Jokic. Over Jackson. Jokic, no good. Indiana has gone three of four from outside so far in the second quarter. Pass to Matherin. Here's Nimhart. He's looking good. Two buckets and three attempts. Now that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference. Not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Now here's Jackson. Five points in the game. Now Jokic. Here's Strother. Jackson with it. Jokic with a screen on Halliburton. Jackson can't get it to go. The Pacers have gotten six of their seven shots to go in the second quarter. Pass to Jackson. Halliburton outside. Jackson with a screen on Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. This is just good point guard fundamentals from Tyrese Halliburton going to the pick and roll to create a bunch of options. Jokic the screen. Jackson, pass to Jokic. Here's Brown. Jackson outside. Shot to stop the run. And there's Jokic on the assist by Jackson. Jokic just got six points in the quarter. And Jokic just making this look way too easy. Halliburton with the ball. Jackson in his pocket. Halliburton against Jackson. Halliburton misses. And it's Jokic with the ball for the Denver Nuggets. Trailing by two. Coming into this, having knots to win against Boston in their last game. And it's just so hard to stop them when they're scoring at that level. They were efficient and didn't let up at all. It never stopped working. One of those games where just everybody was making shots, continual flow, and a very professional win. The Pacers have gotten seven of their first nine shots to drop during the second. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. Well, Brent, the past several years have been the brightest in Nuggets history. And it makes perfect sense. I mean, B.A., you go out and you find a player that elevates everybody else. A guy who becomes the two-time MVP. The talent on the roster has taken strides. They've done a great job in the draft process. It's great to see Denver becoming a legitimate powerhouse in the Western Conference. So Indiana ends up going with a new group. And here are the Pacers now. And here's McConnell. No points yet. Heels from outside. Gordon pulls it in. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Caldwell Pope's shot is off. Indiana trailing here. Here's Neesmith. Looking at his production, close to 12 points a game. Pass to Turner. Down to five on the shot clock. Count it. My and the Pacers lead by one. And shots like this give Turner a confidence boost. Feeling like he can score on anyone down there. To the paint. Here's Porter. And that one's drained from the low block. Porter's got 11 points. Already seven lead changes. These teams are really going after each other. It's been a brutal game to play, but a fun one to watch. Now here's Siakam. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against the Trailblazers in Portland. Yeah, what about his work on the glass? I mean, he was an all-around contributor to a winning effort. Murray against McConnell. 
Here's Najee. Takes one from 10 feet, and the Michael Nuggets Porter getting Jr. another bucket to fall. Assisted by Combine the size Z and skill Najee. that Porter Jr. has, really tough to beat. Murray against McConnell. Pass to heel. Now here's Siakam. The D's right on him. Nuggets and out of bounds. Denver will have it. And a chance here to check out some stats for Nikola Jokic. And a promising trend this month has been a rise in his effective field goal percentage. He's doing a great job with his shot selection, and that is helping his team with their efficiency numbers. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. Caldwell Pope against Heald. The fadeaway. Caldwell Pope's shot is off. Indiana's gone four of six from outside. Looking sharp here in the second. Back to Murray for three. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. And hey, I mean, Murray will take the corner three when it's given to him. You've got to chase him off this line. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Siakam outside. Outside heel. Pass to McConnell. Siakam outside. Here's the three. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Murray passes to Gordon. Back to Murray. Three-pointer. And another three for Denver. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. The Pacers shooting has been great this game. 58%. Outside heel, looking to end the run. Porter pulls it in. And even though he couldn't send the shot back at him, he certainly altered it. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. And it's good. Fought through contact, hit the shot, and will go to the line. Jordan's checked in for Najee. Aaron Gordon, one shot. Free throw, no good. Well, Aaron Gordon is a guy that you really value on both ends of the floor. He's capable of scoring, he'll attack the rim. He's shown that he's improved his three-point shooting. But on the defensive end, him being long and switchable, that helps out. So the more and more guys get used to his versatility, the more he's going to shine. Four on the clock. Here's Siakam. And it's Jordan with the rebound. <laughs> they are really struggling to stop this run. Frustration seems to be mounting here, and you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurry shot selection. Now here's Porter. Back to Gordon. Oh, and Turner with a block. An impressive shot blocker. Turner's combination of size and timing on defense is so valuable. Siakam finds Turner. Siakam with it. He's got 10. To stop the drought. The shot comes out. And so it's the Denver Nuggets up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. And it's mostly due to their superb shooting. They've wasted very few possessions. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks very much. I'm here with Mike Malone and coach evaluate this team's execution offensively for me. Well, I think we're at our best when we can get out and run, but also play downhill. It's a simple game for us. When we defend, that gets us out to run. Now we can play downhill, attack and share the ball. That's when we're at our best. Keep it simple. Thanks, coach. All right. Good stuff, Allie. And we'll get back to the action at the start of the third quarter. Come one, come all. The 2K halftime is here, and so is our breakdown of the upcoming schedule. Let's check it out. And you know for that matchup with the Suns, you look at both teams collectively, it seems like a toss-up. It could come down to individual matchups. Yeah, there is some serious star power in this one. Feels like somebody's going to step up and have a monster night. 
Time to talk about that first half now. And guys, Nikola Jokic, this guy's won multiple MVPs. We're seeing why tonight. Most of these plays have him touching the ball at least once right now. His awareness and decision-making has been tremendous. Anything the defense throws at him, he's got the answer for it. Thanks for tuning in. Now it's time to head back over to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. One of the stories here, Michael Porter getting it done today. Through two quarters of play, he's been an excellent source of points. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. We've got Miles Turner. Buddy Heald is out there with Tyrese Halliburton. Then it's Neesmith, and it's Siakam in at the four. That's the five for the Pacers. And teammates more and more looking for plays from Murray like that. And for the Pacers, they're shooting around 53%, a nice number. And one thing about Jamal Murray, Brent, you know he's not afraid of the big moments. Nah, and it felt really good just as a basketball fan, B.A., to see Jamal Murray return to those big moment kind of plays that we got used to while the teams were in the bubble. Certainly a rising star, and a guy that gets dangerous the bigger the game gets. And it's the Nuggets with the ball, following the bucket by the Pacers. Caldwell Pope finds Jokic. Out to Gordon, from outside the arc. Porter from outside. Rebounded by Heald. Indiana trailing here. And if you're just joining us, we play just over a minute here in the third. Turner passes to Halliburton. Halliburton goes up top to throw it down. Halliburton piling up points. He can thank his impressive work ethic for that. Over to the left wing. Turner against Jokic. Caldwell Pope. The pass to Murray from the top of the key. And count that. Ball. Two points. That's and a good. chance for one more at the line. First personal but they've five. now had assists on each of their last three buckets. That's and you think about beautiful basketball, Brent. Look no further than these Denver one Nuggets. Shot. No doubt about it, B.A. It's like a symphony out there with this ball club. Just the ball movement, the player movement, the guy's willingness to sacrifice the first shot to get the better shot. And Jokic is the conductor. Free throw drops from Murray. And Jamal Murray more and more has come into his own as a player capable of shouldering the offensive load and being a leader for his team at times. There's a screen by Turner. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Who doesn't love to see David take on Goliath? Their huge throwdown. Murray against Halliburton. Outside, Caldwell Pope. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got three assists in the game. And so it's Halliburton with it. He brings it up for the Indiana Pacers. It's a 10-point game. Pass to heel. Siakam against Gordon. Siakam, pass to heel. Halliburton outside. There's a screen by Turner. Pulls up on the wing. Halliburton misses. Only their first miss in four attempts. It's been a great start to the half. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Yes, yes. Listen, Indiana is not a free agent hotspot, but you asked Tyrese Halliburton, it's a great place to play. He said, quote, Midwest nice is a real thing. The genuineness of the people, the way they act. I really value people waving as you walk by or smiling. That matters to me. That small town feel, that Midwest feel. Brian? Yeah, he seems right at home, Allie. Thank you. Here's Siakam. The Nuggets getting their last shot to go. And it's Halliburton! Gets it to go inside! Yeah, 80%. Is that a good number from the field? I, I think so. Four or five here shooting. Terrific start. Jokic the screen. Murray. Pass to Gordon. Now Porter. To the left wing. Here's Jokic. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Turner's got rebound number eight now. 
And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Junior, first personal foul, first team foul. At the line for the Pacers, Aaron Neesmith, one shot. And that one misses. The Nuggets have gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Pass to Murray. Caldwell Pope, a screen on Halliburton. Murray. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. Murray's got 13 now. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. And the basket by Halliburton. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. The Nuggets have gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. Murray passes to Jokic. Out of bounds. It'll be Indiana's ball. Here we are in the middle of the season. Let's see where the Western Conference standings sit. You take a look at the Nuggets. Here around the midway point, they've proven to be a top three team in their conference. Yeah, seeing where the Nuggets are, they just have serious hopes for the outcome of this season. They're focused on putting up a banner. A massive amount of confidence, tremendous swagger with this team, and they believe in themselves. That might be all it takes to get them where they want to go. Here's Neesmith. Five points in the game. And here's Siakam for three. The rebound by Murray. Well, he's using the force, but in the worst way possible right now. He just needs to dial it back and look to work the ball around the floor to his teammates. Now here's Jokic. He's got 14. Shoots over Turner. And the Nuggets getting another bucket to fall. Size and touch of Jokic just too much. Finishing with power and finesse. Timeout called. The Pacers. You look at Nikola Jokic. What a contribution. And they simply have no answer right now for what he's doing to them. He is making them pay. Our 2K leaderboard highlighting the NBA's assist leaders over the last month. Number one, Pacers. And over this last stretch, this team has been incredible passing the rock, playing great team basketball. Here's Siakam. Ten points for him. Right side heel. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. Heel's got seven points. Good job in the mid-range. Buddy Heel getting squared up and scores. Pass to Porter. To the middle. Here's Gordon. And Gordon with the big finish. And that's a staple move from Aaron Gordon. Ooh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. And here's Halliburton. He'll bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. Looking ahead to their next one. Playing at Phoenix. They'll match up against the Suns. And that'll be their only game on the road before heading back home. Now here's Heal. He has seven. Pass to Neesmith. Shot clock at six. Siakam with it from the arc. Oh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. Second team foul. You can see the length come into play, whether Siakam's facing up or back to the basket. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Nuggets. Well, the coaching staff has to love what they're seeing on offense. There's so many assists because how this team is moving the ball. And it seemed like throughout this game, right after the jump ball, they've just been feeling it from distance, getting all the looks they want and continuing to take advantage of that three-point line. 
The Pacers making a switch here. Matherin's checked in. And a switch here also for Denver. Jackson, he's checked in for Porter Jr. And he sinks the second. And he can't make it three for three. Denver in the lead. Caldwell Pope finds Murray. Gordon with a screen on Siakam. Murray passes to Gordon. Back to Murray. Pass to Caldwell Pope. No luck on that one. Healed with the defensive effort. His shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. Now Siakam. And here's Matherin. Ooh, stolen by Murray. Pass to Jokic. Shoots over Turner. Jokic, no good. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. Siakam, pass to heel. Jokic against Turner. Now here's Halliburton. Jokic grabs the board. Jokic has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. A rebound by Turner. Turner's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Is a three. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. Halliburton's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Denver has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Now a timeout called by Denver. And one thing I've learned through the years is no matter the situation, there are always adjustments you can make. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. You've got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. And so here is Denver. Leading by five. Gordon, the pass to Jackson. And another miss by Denver. I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. Back to heel. There's the triple. The rebound by Jackson. The Nuggets have gone 7 of 13 in the second half. Murray against Halliburton. Right side, Murray. They still need this. Hey, he's now six for six. He is cooking right now. A massive reason they're winning. This guy hasn't missed a shot. Not one. You know, at this stage of Reggie Jackson's career, it's clear teams value his experience. Yeah, he's someone this team loves having in their locker room. A strong veteran presence who serves as a mentor to his younger teammates. Halliburton against Murray. Now here's Jokic, guarded closely. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Hits the trifecta. Caldwell Pope's got six points in the quarter. Well, not a volume shooter, but the three-point percentages from KCP, they're solid. Pass to Turner. Back to Halliburton. From 13, he squares up and sinks it. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. And so Murray will bring it up for the Denver Nuggets. Here's Gordon. Outside Murray. Now Gordon. He's covered by Siakam. Five to shoot. Gordon, the pass to Murray. Takes the three. 
And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Turner's got 11 rebounds in the game. Jokic on the double team. Pass to Turner. Outside Matherin. And here's Turner. There's the three. Gordon pulls it in. Murray against Matherin. Gordon with a screen on Matherin. Murray two passes minutes to Gordon. In the third, two minutes. Outside Murray. Gordon down low. Working on Siakam. Stolen by Siakam. Pass to Matherin. Ooh, stolen by Murray. Overhealed. That one off the back iron and out. Indiana trailing here. And he lobs it up to the rim. Stolen by Jackson. Down low. Sinks that one from the post. Murray's got nine points in the quarter. This team just goes to another level when Jamal Murray does offensively. Turner in the high post. Back to Halliburton. Takes a three. And it's Turner that time on the assist by Halliburton. Turner's got eight. Does so much out there to stretch out the defense. And he's out on the perimeter. And he drains the triple. Murray deciding where to go with it. Murray can't get that one to fall. Going into halftime, he had two threes in his pocket, but hasn't added to that total since. Heel finds Matherin. Goes up at the strike, and the Pacers tack on two more. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. Pass to Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Oh, leaping up high. Jackson sees his moment and seizes it. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Halliburton. Denver grabs the miss. Gordon's got six rebounds here tonight. Turner against Jokic. Shoots over Turner and too long on the shot. Great defensive effort to lock down the paint. Yeah, he cut off every angle and then got his body on him. That's a Warriors effort. Jamal Murray, he's been the guy making things happen for Denver. Scoring, passing, imposing his will at the offensive end. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And a chance here to see what went on during a recent huddle. We have to make a stand defensively, fellas, okay? We're not going to be able to outscore them the whole night. we got to get defense into the game. A defense-first coach, Michael Malone, pleading for more effort on this end. Yeah, it just hasn't been there. The coach doesn't sound happy about it. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish on the court for the Nuggets. We've got Christian Brown. Nikola Jokic is out there with Reggie Jackson. And it's Strother in at the two. Tyrese Halliburton. Two shots. First one falls for him. And both free throws good for Halliburton. And you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line. And when he's on, he can be lights out. Free throw line jumper. 
And he missed there. Four for eight shooting now so far. Here's Nimhart. Pass to Halliburton. And here's Toppin from the arc. Nails it from beyond the arc. And it's a tie ball game. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Jackson, pass to Jokic. No stopping Jokic. Well, the skill set is there. Jokic, very tough cover for a lot of centers in the league because of how unique he is. Halliburton with the ball. Jackson in his pocket. And he lobs it up top. And the dunk by Jackson. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Here's Jackson. Halliburton with some nice D. Them hard to pass to Toppin. Jackson outside. Pass to Halliburton to take the lead. Look at Halliburton converting through contact. Deep into the game, you rely on players like him to keep delivering. Jokic with a screen on Halliburton. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Seems like this offense is being executed the way it was designed. Yeah, I'm sure Coach couldn't be happier with the results. Not the tallest center in the league, he more than makes up for it with those crazy hops. To the inside. Here's Jokic. The rebound by Jackson. Jackson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Matherin passes to Halliburton. Toppin with it. On the wing, Matherin. Jackson, the screen. Let's it fly. To the left side wing. Nimhart, the pass to Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. And he's battling for everything, doing all he can to help extend their lead. <laughs> Just throwing down the putback with authority. Uh, team's having a tough time containing him, attacking all the way there. And was determined to get in there. Jackson in with the big boys. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for Indiana? They feel like they have an advantage inside, and so far they have done an excellent job exploiting it. And you want to talk about ball distribution? They've been dominating that aspect of the game. I think there's a bunch of bankers out there. They're dropping dime after dime. Halliburton against Jackson. Outside heel. Let's a free fly. Sends it home from three-point land. And the Pacers lead by six. And you love how Heald is always ready with his feet set. Once the ball hits his hands, it's off. Jackson against Halliburton. Caldwell Pope, a screen on Halliburton. Jackson gets the bucket. Jackson. Letting the defense knock him off balance. Reggie does a great job just being assertive. Toppin outside. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. Healed for three. And it's Denver with a rebound. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Brown passes to Jackson. Now Jokic. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. Six to shoot. Puts up a deep three. That one, no good. Yeah, and the defense really respects his shooting ability. And they showed it with that tight coverage. And it's Matherin missing. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Jackson outside. Jokic. Yes! And a nice assist from Jackson. And now it's just a two-point Indiana lead. And that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, you go to your most trusted guys. Yeah, whether it's teammates or the coaching staff, hopefully a combination of both, but gets close. He's getting the ball. Here's Smith. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. And here's Jackson. He'll bring it up for Denver. Hey, yo, right here. 
to the paint. Pass to Watson to take the lead. Hits a three-pointer. And the Nuggets lead by one. Oh, this one has turned into an absolute nail-biter. Yeah, at this point, you almost expect it to come down to the last possession. And the basket by Halliburton. Halliburton's got 33 points. Great execution. Could not have asked for a better shot. Caldwell Pope against Heald. Here's Jokic. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. And this is the challenge Jokic possesses for opposing teams. He's so good at getting these types of calls. Two shots. Free throw drops for Jokic. Feel like Jokic could play with the baton out there because he's orchestrated. And some changes here for the Pacers. Miles Turner, he's checked in for Smith. And it's Siakam in for Toppin. Gordon, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Jamal Murray comes in for Jackson. And Jokic drops them both. Indiana's gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Turner. Here's Halliburton. Oh, what a finish by Halliburton! And that's an emphatic two points from Tyrese Halliburton. Denver has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Murray against Halliburton. Jokic with a screen on Halliburton. Murray passes to Jokic. Here's Brown. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Jokic. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Murray's got six assists now in the game. For Indiana, they've gone eight of 12 so far here in the fourth. Here's Turner, covered by Jokic. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. Can't be overzealous with Halliburton. When you are, he embraces that. He got the whistle. Two shots. Free throw good, Halliburton. Neesmith, he's checked in for Matherin. And Denver with a change here too. Porter Jr.'s checked in. It's both from the strike. And it's the Nuggets with the ball. Outside Murray. Pass to Jokic. Shoots over Turner. And it's Jokic. That time on the assist by Murray. Jokic has got 10 points in the quarter. Indiana trailing here. Now here's Turner. Inside. And he dunks it. What a pass to set him up. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. Porter finds Caldwell Pope. It's Jokic, high post. Just four to shoot. Shoots over Turner. Ooh, look at Joker with the D all over him. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. Heald passes to Siakam. Halliburton on the wing. Outside heel. Pass to Neesmith. Let's it go from deep. Sinks it from distance. Well, Heald right there on the heel, waiting for someone to get open. Now here's Murray. Beyond the arc. Rebounded by Heald. Heald's got six rebounds here tonight. Halliburton with the ball. Defended by Murray. 
Out to the right wing. There's Neesmith with the three. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Porter's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Jokic. Outside Murray. Jokic with it. Shoots over Neesmith. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass heating. Gordon against Siakam. Over to the wing. Here's Neesmith. Defended by Murray. Heald for three. Another score. His fifth make out of ten tries. Well, Heald has been in these spots before and soaking up the moment here. Jokic with a screen on Halliburton. Murray finds Jokic. Back to Murray. And here's Gordon from the arc. The rebound by Neesmith. His teammates cannot be happy with him, guys. He would have been better off resetting the offense and looking for a better shot opportunity. Halliburton, the pass to Turner. And stolen by Jokic. Outside Murray. to Porter and here's Jokic defended by Halliburton to get back on track for three Gordon fires in the triple oh, oh, oh. huge play there from AG and here's Halliburton he'll bring it up for the Pacers two point game pass to Neesmith Fires from deep. And it's Denver with a rebound. Jokic has got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. He's checked in for the Nuggets. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Denver's head coach was saying to the team. He reminded his team just how close this game is, saying, guys, we aren't out of this yet. We still have plenty of time left. Let's go out and execute our game plan, and I promise you we will win this game. Let's see how they come out of this timeout, Brian. And Allie, thanks. Nails it from three. Man, I'll tell you what. The pressure is cranked up. Who better to call than this guy? Halliburton outside. Turner, screen on Murray. Halliburton with the ball. Checked by Gordon. And then Turner with the double. That gives him a double-double in this one. Wow. Turner just going off. Stepping up and getting it done for his squad. Outside Porter. Three-pointer. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got eight assists in the game. Indiana's gone four of eight from three-point land during the fourth. against Murray. Turner, screen on Murray. Three-pointer, Halliburton knocks down the long J. Halliburton's got 13 points in this quarter. Now he's coming to the NBA, making an impact, and he's making one right here in a big-time moment. Murray inside, defended by Halliburton. Gordon, the pass to Watson. Turner against Gordon, down low. Shot clock at five. <laughs> now that's one to remember. What an impact on the game. I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? Time called here. The Pacers decide to talk it over. They're down by one. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Fifty-two seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Turner, a screen on Murray. Pass to Turner from downtown. The three ball. Yet another assist. That makes 15 assists. He has been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Murray against Halliburton. Side for Porter. Here's Watson. And they double up Murray. They set the pick. Here's called 
Caldwell Pope. Out of bounds. It'll be Indiana's ball. And it's the Pacers for the ball. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. First getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Second personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line, for Indiana, Buddy Heal, two shots. Good on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. And Heal is a very good free-throw shooter. Not a great idea sending him to the line here. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a four-point ball game. Perfect from the line. It's now a two-possession game. Now a timeout called by Denver. They're down by four. 17 seconds left in the game. Now on the court is your squad. Get loud. We'll let them hear it. How about your pace made stand Steve, everyone? 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Caldwell Pope finds Murray. Launches it from deep. Rebounded by Halliburton. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there. And that, uh, that's unfortunate. He drops the first one, and that puts him up five. Second one is good, getting both at the line. And it's a six-point ball game. Now that'll ice it right there. Not everybody can keep their composure at the line in such a big situation. He's playing bigger than his listed height. He's doing work on that glass. And so the Pacers take the win. Boy, they didn't make it easy on their fans or themselves. But at the end of the day, everyone on their side is happy. Yeah, happy indeed. The momentum shifted away from them a few times, especially early on. But give these guys credit for sticking with the game plan and finishing the job. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Hey there, I'm here with Pascal Siakam. The shots were falling for you tonight. How'd you like the flow offensively? Uh, I like it. You know, we play for each other like we always do. Move the ball around, get the open shots. And today, they went in, so you got to continue to play. It's helpful when it goes in. Thanks so much, Pascal. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll do it, folks. For